spherical concretions in incredibly basic geological terms it's a process of hard rock being encased within softer rock and over millennia the hard rock spins and rolls with tectonic movement plate movements things like that and it sort of rolls and rolls and rolls it forms these solid spherical concretions and then over time with coastal erosion the softer rock is worn away exposing these beautiful egg-shaped oval-shaped spherical concretions and they are stunning head to the beach see what we can see and then first thing in the morning we're going to get up again and get dawn light and sunlight on some of these on some of these formations and i can't wait they trust me they look impressive they look gorgeous okay let's push on get to the beach get cracking in rocks in the water's edge these are some of those spherical concretions I've been talking about they came out of that headland which is over my shoulder there over time they've been washed down the beach God only knows how many have been buried forever never to be seen again the last one I photographed was actually coming out of the uh, the cliff face there it was just absolutely stunning to see I'll put a link to that up there guys check it out and we might have got a couple of nice little photographs there so that's uh, it's encouraging great start see a little bit further down the beach the light's totally gone so I'm not going to push any further down there I might get a shot of this I mean, how cool does that look Woo! I'll tell you what that water's cold of texture nice colors on there it's all quite nice headland on the horizon there I don't know if I can get that as I want it if it had been facing horizontally that would have lined up quite nicely with the headland as it stands now ah, it's not too bad it's quite nice actually Absolutely beautiful night. We are making some uh, some quite nice photographs here. At the minute, I've got it ISO 400, f11, 160th. That's handheld and it's it's quite it's holding up quite nicely. I've taken a few shots f2.8 as well, just to isolate the rocks in situation. And uh, on the back of the screen, I can't tell which I prefer. Once I get them on the computer, we'll have a look. What an evening! What an absolutely cracking evening. That second rock that I photographed. It's got the last remnants of light on it now. I'm going to try and make a shot of that. Everything else is sort of fading away into darkness. That rock is still glowing beautifully. It's going to stand out like the old proverbial dogs if I get there in time. You can see the rock that I'm talking about just there, just ahead. Everything else is dark. We've just got one patch of beautiful golden sunlight remaining on this rock. And that is going to be the shot. Beautiful, look at that. In fact, if I incorporate this little rock as well, little rock, big rock, headland, stunning. Let's do it. And I say it myself, that is a beautiful photograph. I'll show you what I got. I tried the two rocks together, didn't really work with the headland, it was a bit too spaced out. But then I turned around and I got this shot. The light's all but gone now. This circle where the tide's coming in and out around the boulder, and it just it just looks beautiful. Love it, love that photo. Okay. And just like that, the light has gone down over my shoulder. And that is the end of our evening. Absolutely beautiful. All right, I've got to get across this little river type thing now. And I can't remember which way I went. I'm going to get 
sâu kia này này nhấp sleep well and I'll catch you in a couple of minutes first thing in the morning Welcome to pre-dawn. It's going to be a belter. Probably 15 minutes before sunrise walking along the beach I've got to the area where a lot of the spherical concretions are scattered about on the beach a lot of them are broken up but you can still see them there there's a few few out of the few out of the water's edge here with the uh, looking absolutely stunning but I've just found this one here which is kind of similar to the one I shot last night in that it's got a uh, it's got a pull around it but this one is more spherical and it just looks gorgeous That has just made a beautiful shot. I'm so impressed with that shot. You can just see two of them there. And if I could get to them, they would be lovely shots. Trust me, I can't. Got some more here, but not as good as the other one. Let's just push on further down the beach. There's another fine example of one here. Quite a bit smaller than the previous one. It's not the best example. It's well buried. But we're going to get a shot of it anyway. The light levels are really coming up now. Ooh. Shot me thinks. We're just coming to the area where I photographed the uh, the one in the last video. The headlands definitely sort of crumbled away, exposed more of the rock, and then just ahead of that is another one. It suffered so much erosion, this headland. You can't believe the difference. Check out the previous video, guys, and you see this boulder. You see how it looked the last time I shot it. It's completely different now. along the way here we've got another one as beautiful as that undoubtedly is on this occasion at this time the photographs of the rocks and the pools to me look better but it's nice to photograph them we're just going to wander back down to a few of those uh, rock pool boulders now that we've got some morning light on them this is gorgeous this is absolutely gorgeous
so I think we're going to call that a wrap. I've got the shots I wanted, I've got better than I wanted to be fair. We'll have a steady walk back down the beach to the van, probably a kilometre, two kilometres. So as always, thanks very much for checking out my morning. And until next time, hope you enjoyed this. Catch you later. Cheers.